Hello and welcome back to Little Green Pig's series of YouTube films. It's week 11 now and uh, these films are here for you to uh, get some creative and get some ideas um, as we've been doing in the last few weeks. My name's Adam and I'm the learning manager, a workshop leader and a writer with Little Green Pig. And I'm here with my writing buddies, uh, Sue and Moogie. It's actually uh, celery time for them and we're in our den where we do some reading and writing. And this week we're going to go through a couple of activities that we had in the poster that was out on Monday and then I'm going to uh, talk about our project Wild Wild World and share some writing that's been sent in. So first up, um, it's actually National Writing Day this Wednesday so the whole nation will be writing we hope um, and they have set a challenge. So we're, we've partnered with National Writing Day uh, and put the challenge on our activity poster this week. And that is called 247. So um, can you create a story in 24 words? Sounds quite a challenge, but actually if you just think of one main idea, just a simple idea and just write a little bit about it, you'll get to 24 words and hopefully that can be a story. Well, I had a go at this myself. Uh, so I went for a swim this morning in the sea and then I, when I came back, I just wrote about the story. So, my 24 word story. I venture to the beach, catch a wave for a swim and meet a lonely seagull. It flies as I swim, we are together. So, see if you can take a simple idea and create a story or a poem, or you can do it in a film. Um, in 24 words and please do send these in to us uh, at writing at littlegreenpig.org.uk and we'd love to see what you create. Okay so each week we go through a different emotion and explore that emotion through writing and this week we're going to face our fears. So grab a piece of paper and can you think of three things that scare you? Three things that cause you fear? Now these can be anything from the smallest things like a, an insect, I would think of a, an earwig, they kind of frighten me a bit, um, or it might be a character in a story. So I have had nightmares about uh, an alien called the Thin Man since I was about six or seven and I'm still frightened of him, he petrifies me. Um, or it could be a food, I fear baked beans, I don't want to eat them, or it might be uh, something some other fear that you're, you're thinking about and it's good to get them out. Um, so write down three or four or maybe more on a piece of paper and then choose one that you could write about. Share that with a friend or a parent and then if you feel brave enough please do send that in to us. On to our main project for this term and that is called Wild Wild World. And this project is really about us thinking about the environment that we live in and the environment of uh, the towns and cities that we, we know and live in and also the world and how, um, how the world might be changing over these next few months and years. Um, the world is always changing but uh, because of the less activity of uh, cars and planes and people working in different ways and uh, the world is responding to that differently and we're seeing maybe small changes around us or maybe some huge global changes and we want to invite you to think about this and to write about it and use your imagination about how the world could change. So hopefully by now um, you will have thought about different things in the environment and chosen an area that you'd like to write about. And this week we'd like you to think about the format of how to write that. So it could be uh, a story um, or a poem, but you might like to write a news article um, or even a play, even with characters and dialogue. Remember, we have a masterclass out about dialogue and they could be exploring through their speech, um, their local area and things that have changed. So um, have a think about your idea and what would suit it best, what excites you the most, and then get writing, start off and uh, use your imagination. And that's, that's the best way um, if you can think about the most imaginative idea and then go for it. So this, start your stories or your poems or articles this week and we'll check in with that next week. 
Okay, we're going to share now, um, I'm going to share uh, a story that's been sent in. So thank you always for sending your, your work in, your writings, we do appreciate it. And I'm going to share a story by Elsie Rowe White. And it is called, There's a Tiger Under the Balcony. Frida lived on Carden Crescent. It was a perfectly normal house with a perfectly normal garden. This house in Carden Crescent was the last place you'd expect to have something unusual going on. And what a surprise it was on a perfectly normal, hot, sunny morning when Frida woke up. She had her breakfast as usual, and then she brushed her teeth as usual, and then went down to the cabin to watch something on the television as usual. But it was that one morning when something very strange happened, something that changed Frida's life forever. What do you think, girls? What's going to happen to Frida on Carden Crescent? Well, please do log in to our website, www.littlegreenpig.org.uk and go to the blog page and you will see the story sent in and you'll find Elsie's story there and you can read on. So if you're new to Little Green Pig, you'd like to find out more, please do check the website or you could email us at info at littlegreenpig.org.uk. And as I said before, if you have anything you've written, whether it be something from this, this week's activities or anything that, that's causing, inspiring you to write, please do send them in. We love to read them and share them. And we, if you can send them in to writing at littlegreenpig.org.uk. Well, that's it from me. Thank you for tuning in. Always appreciate it. It's lovely to see you. And until I see you again, stay safe and healthy. And always be open, be brave, be imaginative, take pride and have fun.